Hi, I'm Davis. And I'm Andy. And we're the Game Grazers. In front of the camera. In front of the camera for another episode of Game Grazers Discuss. Hi, Andy. Hi, Davis. How are you? I'm awesome. How cool. About you? I'm, I'm good. So today's question. Uh, uh, not that question. <laughs> no. Comes from uh, our friends over at Foul Play Presents. Thank you, Foul Play Presents. Th those, those bird-brained bastards. <laughs> and they're asking us, what is your earliest gaming memory or most favorite gaming moment? Okay. Um, so, I, so for me, personally, I would say that my earliest memory, it's a bit fuzzy because I was probably about like, um, maybe about like four or five when I first played some games um, and they were over at a friend's house. Um, and like they had an Atari 2600 and an NES. And I specifically at least remember uh, Pitfall, uh, Super Mario Brothers, and Marble Madness of all games. <laughs> um, and I just remember being at their house and like playing those games, and that was a lot of fun. And then eventually, I got my um, my NES for Christmas, uh, like when I was like five or six. Um, but that's my earliest memory. How about you? Well, I think uh, for me, it comes in kind of two phases. Um, first, you know, way back in the day. I mean, where did you play your video games? You played your video games at like where you, where you got pizza, mm -hmm. right? And they had a couple stand-up arcade games, some pinball games. And I remember uh, when we would go to, I think it was Shakey's Pizza, and they had a few games. And one of the games, and I don't remember what it was called, but it was the game where um, uh, you were basically, it's the Old West, and you were uh, trying to catch up to a train on mm -hmm. horseback. And, and people would come along, and they'd come alongside of you on the other side of the train they would shoot through at you i don't even remember what the game was but, but that was like that was an early early memory um and what i don't remember is i don't remember if uh if that came before when my dad brought home a 2600 for us right but that was also kind of like that was a big moment for me it was when he brought home the 2600 and we spent hours playing combat <laughs> and space war um, those would be my earliest like competing memories of games right um for my favorite gaming moment, oh, this is kind of an interesting story. Mine, mine relates to uh, Final Fantasy XI of all games, actually. Um, and I've kind of I have to preface this story for those of you who haven't played uh, Final Fantasy XI, which is an MMORPG, a Mamorbiga, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you could the level cap at the time when I played it was seventy five, and if you got to level fifty, every five levels you had to do a quest in order to break your limit and then be able to move on for the next five levels. So at, at 50, you had to do a quest at 55, at 60, at 65 and 70. But the level 70 quest has to be one of the biggest pains in the asses I've ever dealt with in games. Um, basically what it was is you would take whatever job you were. I was a black mage and you had to like go really deep into these complex dungeons and fight really high level monsters. And because this game was so, like old school MMO, you had to have like friends help you defeat these things because you were not powerful enough to do it on your own. And you had to get a thing called a testimony. So I got a black mage testimony. You take it back to the quest quest giver and then you had to fight him one on one without your sub job abilities. And sub jobs were like, if you were a black mage, you might sub white mage to get healing abilities. No, you were just raw black mage going into this thing. And it had a very specific uh, phase that you had to like shoot your strongest spell at him, shoot your, shoot your strongest sleep spell at him, then your second strongest attack spell, try and sleep him again, You this will probably fail, <laughs> and then get off a third spell as fast as you can and try and kill him. You had to defeat him to do this. But if you lost, you lost the testimony and had to go back and do it again. Oh my god. So I probably went through that process, I want to say about five or six times. And farming the testimony was not easy. That took like an hour or two. And then prepping up the fight and you had to like, there's all sorts of weird things. I'm not going to get into the aspects of Final Fantasy XI about. But on the like fifth or sixth try, I finally beat him. This is like about a month after trying to be here. And I just remember like I was sitting there like holding the controller. Here's the controller. Oh I my like, God. I was like holding the controller in my hand. And I was just like, <laughs> like I literally like my hands were like shaking with joy. From from having <laughs> finally defeated this this jerk ass, and like it's just it's one of those moments where I just like pure like just emotion and joy and angst like all just roll up in one moment and just and just took me, <laughs> and it's just like it's right here like I I can never forget that experience. Wow, that's pretty touching. So how about you? What's your favorite gaming moment? Well, uh, 
this is gonna seem kind of random. Um, I have a an intense love for the Silent Hill series, mm -hmm. or at least the first like three games. After that, <laughs> it kind of drops off. Um, but in particular, uh, in the original Silent Hill, which you know, in a previous episode we talked about gameplay graphics and story, right? Yeah. And so the thing to me is that Silent Hill was such a huge, amazing game, but it didn't exactly excel in any of those three areas. But I think it, it tapped into like this psychological aspect. Something that, primordial. Yeah, yeah. It was very nightmarish and it, and it really kind of, it, it really uh, resonated with me, right? And so um, I don't remember the details of the original Silent Hill story because they're really convoluted. I mean, obviously, <laughs> you know, you, you think you, you, you get into a single car wreck, wake up your daughter that was with you in the car is now gone. So you go into the town and you try to find her. And of course, it, it's great because uh, uh, Konami was, they would drop these little nuggets of we've got your daughter and something bad's happening to her. Um, but there's a couple people in the game that help you, right? Mm -hmm. um, one's a doctor, one's a nurse. And um, for me, uh, there's a moment in which um, the nurse who really helps you and seems to have a really pure heart, one of the few characters in the game that has a pure heart, um, realizes that she's actually dead. And um, there's like this exchange between the main character and, and the nurse where um, basically you send this message that, you know, it's okay if you let go and die now. And um, that to me was just a really, um, that it evoked, evoked some amazing emotions in me that I didn't think a game could do. Yeah. So for me, um, that was probably my most like amazing moment in gaming of which there's many, but yeah, that one there, to me there's is... always so many amazing moments and like, whether it's from a gameplay standpoint or a storytelling standpoint, I mean, there's just so many great moments. You just, you have to kind of find that moment that just like bubbles to the surface and someone's like, well, what's your favorite? And you're just like where where was i touched most like where where was i just like emotionally at some level of peak mm -hmm. um and for me it was just like that just getting through all of that nonsense yeah and be like i did it i finally fucking did it <laughs> um so that was great so why don't you all tell us what were your earliest gaming memories or what's your favorite gaming moment ever um, let us know in comments. Let us know on our Twitter at Game Grazers. Um, we would love to have that conversation with you. And also, if you have a question of your own that you would like to submit, please, again, let us know in comments or on Twitter. Um, and if you enjoy the Game Grazers Discuss or Game Grazers in general, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Davis. And we'll see you next time. Another winner. Another winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thank you for the question. Yes.